everyone, welcome to China Market Connect. Continuing from the previous discussion, we want to review some challenges and opportunities for China's semiconductor industry this week. In 2018, the U.S. Congress passed two bills to restrict technology-related investments and exports to China. The constraints is a double-edged sword in our opinion, as evidenced by Boston Consulting Group estimated the decouple has resulted a knockoff of $80 billion revenue in 2020, forcing the U.S. firms to cut R&D by 30 to 60 percent. As a result of the restriction, direct investments by Chinese firms into U.S. tech sector has fallen to zero. Increasingly, U.S. chip firms are applying for export license or offshoring their production facilities in finding a path to operate under the restrictions. In response to the challenge, China has intensified its commitment in helping the industry to become self-sufficient. The Chinese State Council announced to eliminate corporate income tax for advanced FAPs for 10 years and exempt tariff for various imports items in 2020. The Chinese government now offers insurance to protect against faulty equipment or material from Chinese vendors and billions of dollars raised for the National Integrated Circuit Fund and direct subsidies from state to the industry. Late in 2020, China declared science and technology to be the top national priority. Massive policy support is one and how the industry is delivering this large scale of national goal is another. Thus far, we observe the industry has achieved its staged success. China tripled its chip production capacity between 2012 and 2020. Today, it shares 15 to 22 percent of global semiconductor production. Chinese chip producer shares 20 percent or higher for mobile phone processor and image processor for high definition television. As the world main hub for electronics production, the Chinese brands make around 40% of the world's smartphone, over a quarter of world PC sales, and majority electrical vehicles. It will soon become the biggest chip producer by volume. Rome wasn't built in one day. The goal for the Chinese firm is not to become industry leaders like Samsung or Intel tomorrow, but to become a credible player in global competition. Next week, we will highlight key achievements in the key segments. Stay tuned. This is Xiaolin Chen. Thank you for watching China Market Connect.